another compound that is also not really known about too much, uh, methylene blue. Um, so it's like a non-dye dye, uh, one of those kind of like things that like most pharmacists and doctors don't know about. So, and it's gained attention for its potential cognitive mitochondrial benefits. And I know you use it in different doses for different purposes. How do you incorporate into treatment plans, uh, clinical, outcomes, clinical outcomes that you've observed with methylene blue, uh, with detox, um, just overall, how do you use it in your practice? So we have been using methylene blue for a couple of years now, and it's, uh, it uh, is interesting. Uh, it is blue. By the way, just like it says. Yeah. And if you definitely don't want to get it on your clothes because it will dye it blue. Yeah. But uh, when you take it, uh, taking low doses really work like works like an antioxidant. Right. Uh, and so that a low dose might be 10 milligrams twice a day. That's pretty low dose and safe. Uh, it, when you start going up on the dose, that's when you start getting into more therapeutic benefits. So at like 25 milligrams twice a day, just as an example, it could have more cognitive benefits, like better focus, better concentration. Uh, and again, it's partly because of the antioxidant benefits, but also there seems to be neurocognitive enhancing effects. And then if a person wants to go even higher, 50 milligrams twice a day, that's when it can have some antimicrobial benefits. Yeah. And that's where, uh, in fact, actually methylene blue was the first like a very early prescription medicine for babesia, or for malaria, sorry, for malaria. We're using it now for babesia and Bartonella, where it's been found to have uh, antimicrobial effects and also uh, antibiofilm benefits. Got it. So the, the one thing that a person should know is that the higher the dose, the more possibility there is for side effects with other medications, drug interactions. Yeah. And it has a, uh, really to do with one of the, suspected mechanisms of action, which is that it can, at high doses, work almost like an MAOI, a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, which is why it can have some mood elevating benefits too. Mm. Interesting. That's interesting. 